Skirt steak is packed with flavor, but it can be a little bit tricky to grill it right, so I'm gonna show you two different ways of getting it done. Some people think that skirt steak means that it comes from the cow's dainty waist, but that's not true. It comes from the diaphragm, and that means that it's working hard for the entire life of the cow. If you cook it wrong, it's gonna be super tough, but if you cook it right, you're gonna be rewarded with some amazing beef flavor and tenderness that really can't be found in a lot of other cuts. First, I'm gonna show you how to grill it on a charcoal grill, which is by far my favorite, but if you have a gas grill, you can totally do that as well. I'll show you how to do that later in the video. Before we get cooking, we need to take a step back in time and learn how to trim skirt steak as well as marinate it to maximize the potential. Skirt steak used to be a really cheap cut, but people realized how good it can be and the prices have been on the rise. I picked this one up at my local butcher and if you haven't seen it before, skirt steak is really long and really thin. The first thing I do is I cut it into smaller pieces and I'm trying to keep the thin meat together as well as the thicker meat so that way it cooks evenly. If there's a lot of fat, you can remove it if you'd like, but you do need to remove the silver skin. It's not gonna render and it'll be really tough after it's cooked. Some butchers remove all of it for you and you might be able to skip this step, but you'll probably pay more for that kind of meat. I'm making two marinades. One is citrus based and the acid in the lemon will help tenderize the meat. The other is Asian style and it is packed with flavor since this one's gonna be destined for the gas grill and let's be honest, it could use a little bit of help. Both are blended until they're smooth, and I put the recipes down in the description below. Set a little bit of the Asian style marinade aside for when you grill it. You want to marinate the skirt steak for four to eight hours, get all of the air out of the bag for maximum contact, and then put it in the fridge. To set up the grill, we're going to take a half a chimney of fully lit charcoal and put it on one side of the grill. That gives us a really hot side to sear as well as a cooler side in case we need a little bit more time to be able to get things up to temp. Plus, cooking with charcoal can be pretty unpredictable, so it's always nice to have a place to retreat to. Don't burn yourself while doing this, but a rule of thumb is if you can only hold your hand one Coke can above the grates for a few seconds, it is hot enough. My grill grates have been heating up over the fire, so I'm going to rotate them over to the cool side just to keep them from instantly burning the meat. Grill the skirt steak for about a minute per side. The color isn't going to be there after the first flip, but after another 30 to 60 seconds on the other side, it should look just about perfect. These steaks cook really quickly and they should be around 130 degrees Fahrenheit at this point. And if they're not done yet, let them hang out on the cool side of the grill to come up to temp. For a good sear, remove as much of the marinade as possible before you put them on. And for the sake of science, I left this one completely wet. All that marinade has to evaporate before the meat will sear and it's a really easy way to overcook the meat before you get a good color. The steak on the right was noticeably lighter and it was the wet one. On the gas grill, make sure that you oil up the grates to prevent sticking. Put the meat over medium high burners and we're taking a little bit lower on this one than we did on the charcoal because of the sugar in the marinade. Doing it on high will likely burn. You also can take advantage of the heat in the grates and move them halfway through the cook. After a minute and a half, give them a flip and then brush on some of that reserved marinade. That will really amp up the flavor as the sauce thickens on the meat. If you have thick and thin pieces, put the thin meat on the top rack so it doesn't overcook. But both should be done after another minute and a half or two minutes on the other side. Slicing skirt steak is a great way to mess it up. And I'm cutting it with the grain just to show you what not to do. So please don't hate me in the comment section. This piece came out as tough as my shoe. So instead you wanna cut it against the grain. That way all of the fibers are chopped up nice and thin. Cutting on an angle, or some people call it the bias, will give you pieces that are thicker than the steak itself. Now look how much easier that steak came apart just by slicing it right. The citrus marinated steak got some chimichurri sauce, and the Asian style ended up with a rice bowl with an over easy egg. Skirt steak is super versatile and can make an amazing meal that you'll impress your guests with. If you made it this far, you might as well hit subscribe if you haven't already so that we can stay up on all of our videos.